Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sunique and I have a box from Wonders Emporium. Let's open it together. So, I've ordered quite a few things from there actually. I'm waiting on some pre orders. But yes, we've got the envelope with those tarot cards and oracle cards in, which I'll have a look at in a minute. And this is the practical magic deck. Now, I just did an unboxing of the Witch's Garden Tarot. I thought I'd try this one. Um, this is Practical Magic and it's an oracle and it's by Serene Connolly and Selena Fennick. So yeah, I've got uh, high hopes for it. In the meantime, let's open this. Oh, I've got another one from the what I think is the Vampire Tarot, the new one, Charles Harrington, I think. It's the Ace of Cups. It's looking quite intriguing, that deck, actually. <laughs> the more cards I'm seeing from it. Um, the Fifth Spirit, we have the Magician. Then I've got another one from the Animal Spirit or um, Oracle, the little tin one. I've actually got this Oracle anyway. So this is Parrot Spirit. Watch your words. They do chatter a bit, don't they? I've also got this deck, which is the Lightseer's Mini. I've got both versions, actually. Here we have the Three of Wands. It's quite apt for Nuki, isn't it? Surfboard. And then that Lunar Edition of Matt Hughes. And this is the Nine of Wands. It does feel different. A lot different to the, uh, to the first deck. I do like the Matt Hughes art as well. And then we've got the uh, Welcome card with the discounts on it which is really nice of Cheryl every time you make an order you can get 10% off with that so that's really good and heads up I've just cancelled my Amazon account <laughs> one it's gone up to nearly a hundred pound a year and I know that's only like it's probably less than two pound a week isn't it but I did binge watch Day, uh, Daisy Jones and the Six but that's the last thing I watched and I think it's probably been the only thing I watched this year actually but it was good i enjoyed that very much so loosely based on uh, fleetwood mac anyway i digress <laughs> we're not here to talk about amazon really but i'll just to say that i have actually cancelled my amazon subscription yearly subscription when we've got people in our community like cheryl of oneness emporium who are really care about their products and what they're sending out and the fact that they are genuine products and not fakes because they are being flooded by fakes and and now it's getting difficult even on amazon to actually figure it out whether they are genuine decks or not and i want to support creators i don't want to support people who are stealing art and ai and all that sort of thing anyway oh it's a blue angel deck wow it's pretty big for a blue angel deck so what's it say? An oracle for everyday enchantment. Energise the purpose, knowledge and potential within you to empower your heart and transform your tomorrows. This inspired collaboration is a rich compendium of fascination, insight, ritual, symbolism and divination that you can action in your daily life for surprising and satisfying results. Ooh, sounds good. Uh, we've got beautiful artwork specifically, or oh, specially created to reflect the meaning and alchemy of each card step-by-step -step spell work visualizations and exercises for ushering in a charmed life a comprehensive magical resource for creating sacred space understanding moon phases working with nature cycles influencing your future and more well this sounds a wonderful journey into initiation and possibility welcome adventure and reward set nurturing boundaries and shape your reality with the support of deities herbs crystals color the elements and intention believe in your innate powers of creation and innovation and charge your world with wonder now and always that's a brilliant uh, brilliant text there isn't it that sounds really really good and here we have some examples of the images Okay, so let's have a little look in the box. So what have we got? Magnetic, is it? Oh, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> magnetic box. I love a magnetic box. 
Let me straighten this camera up a bit. There we go. So yeah, oh look at this. Crow and the crow's feathers. <laughs> to have hair like that, could you imagine? <laughs> okay, so we've got an image here. Yeah, quite stylized actually. Uh, nice big thick chunky guidebook, which is what I like. What's this? It's a card stand. Yeah, it's a card stand. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. And then we have, okay, so they are quite big cards and a lot larger than a, than a tarot deck. Let me show you. So that's in comparison with a tarot deck. So you can see they're quite a lot larger. Um, lots of space in the, <laughs> in the box. There's no sort of cutout in this one, is there? You know, sometimes you get the cutout where you can just place the cards in. So these are going to... Mind you, Blue Angel does that in a lot of their decks, you know, in their boxes, don't they? They leave loads of room. So if you were going to take this out and about, I don't know, maybe you would need a bag. Oh, like that. Ah, with an owl. Okay, and we'll look at the cards in a second. Ooh, lovely. Let's put this to one side. It's the book. Let's look at the book. And there's a message from the authors. There we go. Nice picture on the back. what we have okay so we have 301 pages well the introduction getting to know your cards working with your cards an alternative way to use the deck the wheel of the year card layouts preparing for your reading creating a sacred circle Purifying ritual bath recipe, make the most of every moment. Then we have the card meanings, and we have 36 cards, and then about the author, about the artist. So here's the introduction, and we've got a black and white version here yeah, of that picture in the box. You created this deck to remind you of the power, strength and wisdom already within you. Mm -hmm. So we have dates for the Wheel of the Year, but well, we're just doing four. No, we're doing all eight. I wondered. Yes, we're doing all eight. And the dates in the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere. Some layouts. One card, two card, three card, five card. 13 card year ahead. How to prepare for the reading. Yeah. Uh, some invocations. Talking about the elements. And again, ritual. Some variations on that bath. And then into the card meanings. That looks quite powerful. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Oh my days, four. What is that? Is that one card? One, two, three, four, five, six, six pages for one card. Are you kidding me? So we've got the card. It looks like we've got the card meaning. Then ways to work with it. So working with crystals with it. Working with nature. So earth energy. A meditation. Oh my days. Is that the same for every card? One, two. It is. Wow. This is a guidebook. This is a guidebook. What? This is this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. This is something I could work with all year round. Oh my days. I can't believe it. This is amazing. I don't, do I need the cards or just read the book? I don't know. The cards are nice, but I don't even know if you need them really. Looking at that book. 
So needless to say, I'm not going to pull a card and read the entry because it's like mahusif. I might read extracts. Anyway, let's just have a little look at the card. So we've got ground yourself, lady of earth. And you can see this lady is part of the earth here. It's beautiful, it's stunning. Lady of air. Oh, so we've got the elements. Okay, so that was earth. This is air. I presume we're going to get fire and water. So we have butterflies. Yeah, water. Feel your emotions. Gosh. And fire. Step up. Then what are we doing? Lunar strength. So moon energy. Solar energy. Ah. Oh. So we've got the moon and the sun. Protect her physical strength. These cards are beautiful. Eye of the storm, emotional strength. So we're going through. Okay, so we get these are the strength cards then. It's got moon, sun, physical, emotional. And they're into wisdom, out of wisdom, Merlin's temple. He does look a very, uh, very Merlin. <laughs> After that exhibition of the pre Raphaelites and King Arthur, I think this is uh, quite apt. <laughs> Inner wisdom, start a soul. And we've got a bit of diversity in age here. Brilliant. Love to see that. Take action. So we've got a warrior spirit, but an angel. Gosh. Have patience. Shine your light. So this is light and dark light. So that's going to be light and dark dark. Yes. Thought so. <laughs> I'm getting the feel of this. Rockaby, rest and restore. Looks a little bit Tinkerbellish. Transform your life. So we've got potion going on here to make a difference connect with the land custodian okay set boundaries lady of avalon yeah, feeling arthurian here enchanted that we every day so we've got autumn story keeper express your heart writing their own story yeah Channel your anger, trials. Oh, so we have got some uh, shadow work cards. Honour your grief, my lost love. Oh, that is sad. Uh, oh. Face your fear, passion and power. So we've got some Leo energy, strength. Be kind. <laughs> Prince Charming here. <laughs> is that the Knight of uh, Cups by any chance? Holding a rabbit. <laughs> Make a choice, choices. Follow your dreams, dream like. Let the past die, Raven King. I like this image. True to you, lilac magic. Hmm. Gift of solitude, warm my heart. Time for play, Woodland Queen. <laughs> well, I think it's quite funny, isn't it? It's like we're at a disco here. <laughs> Sorry, that was quite funny. Uh, seek balance, overwhelm. Hmm. Was it too many irons in the fire? That's what that reminded me. Focus on friendship, magical friendship. And reward your life, wolf princess. <laughs> Baby one. Baby steps on. Embody forgiveness, crown of stars and thorns. Ask for forgiveness. Okay. Release your pain, Fox Gate. So those are the cards, these are the backs. 
which was the image from card 35. So if that's the back of the cards, then is that the whole premise of the deck? Forgiveness. I don't think so. I don't think so. They're really pretty cards. I like the size. I like the texture. They're not glossy. They're not matte. They're somewhere in between. I really like Blue Angel cardstock. Always have. Um, I like the shiny versions as well, but the matte versions I just love. Um, yeah, so let's read a little bit from the book. Not a lot, because... Um, Five pages? We'll be here forever, won't we? Okay, we'll just read a little bit. Take a card. Oh, that's how we want that one. Rewild your life, Wolf Princess. Card 33. There is, a, there is a need for wildness in the world and for wildness within you. Give yourself the freedom to find and express your wild soul. So we're talking about protecting wild areas, restoring nature in areas that have been stripped bare. So yeah, wildflowers on the roadside for the bees. So we've got the earth part of that. And then applying that to ourselves. So we're not so rigid. We're not um, imprisoned by society, I should think. Personal impositions. So being true to yourself, really. Freedom, self-expression, rediscovery of your oneness with nature and the wild world. It's about carving out time. They acknowledge that, you know, you, you still have to work and live in society. But it's just about carving, about carving some time out for exploration of your true self. Like a wolf who roams within the wild forests, the cycles of the seasons and the phases of the moon, there is a wild and uninhibited part of your inner self that has some wisdom to share with you. Okay, so it's tapping in really, isn't it? So, bust out your regular routine, go outside, dance under the full moon, yeah, all that sort of thing. It's feeling it within the body, I think that is what the message is. Feel who you really are, the, the true self within your body. Then we have practical magic. So spending time in the wild, breathing, and then caring for where you live. Foraging, picking fresh fruit and vegetables from an orchard or your own garden. We do have um, allotments just over the side here. And when all the fruit's ripening and there's too much, you go over there. They're really nice. They give, they they do. They give you some. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, connect with your animal spirit guide. So it's about shamanism and how to do that, and what animals have to teach us the essence of the animal and what that teaches us. So like with wolf, it will help you feel protected, or you find the courage to express your vulnerability. We have lion, wild horse. Yeah, so a lot to work with with this book. So I'm going to really enjoy that, actually. I've got some good stuff to get through in the winter, which I'm really going to enjoy. I've got new decks, I've got new books. I'm like ready to hunker down. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, I like this deck. And Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And until my next video, bye friends. Bye.